Hello, this is Kenny Moore from TaggedPDF.com, continuing a series of short tutorials intended to help optimize PDF documents for assistive technology and mobile device users by meeting the new PDF accessibility requirements of the 508 refresh. In this video, we will explore another error encountered when using PAC2, the excellent free PDF accessibility checker. And the error is this one. Figure element on a single page with no bounding box. The category of this error is logical structure, structure elements, figures, and I haven't actually found the failure condition in the Matterhorn protocol. But if I consult ISO standard uh, 32000, which defines the portable document format, I can see that it requires certain graphical elements to have a bounding box. So the video will demonstrate this suggestion for resolving the error using Adobe Acrobat Pro and using this example PDF, which if you, if you would like, you're free to download and practice solving this error. In Pack 2, I have the example PDF loaded, so I can click Start. And you can see that we get the angry red X complaining that this PDF contains errors only partially accessible. So I'll click the report button. I'm going to uh, expand it out a bit. And I'll drill down to the error. If I click on the error, it will show me the location of the faulty figure in the document. In Acrobat Pro, I'm going to open the Tags pane, and I can see that the, the faulty figure is right there. So I'm going to right-click the figure tag. The way to fix this error is just to delete the figure tag and recreate it. Uh, but first, I'm going to right-click the figure tag, select Properties, and copy the alternate text. I don't want to lose that. And then while I'm here, if I want to, I can take a peek in the uh, Edit Attribute Objects button. If I expand things out here, I can see that there's no bounding box. It would be in a thing called a B-Box Array. There's not one here. That's what's causing the error. So I'll cancel back out of that. Close this. I'm going to delete the figure tag. And back in the main document window, with the Touch Up Reading Order tool selected, I don't care for the dialog, so I'm going to close it. I'll select the figure, recreate, I'll right click and recreate the figure tag. Now Acrobat Pro is a little bit inept in figuring out where to place tags sometimes, in particular figure tags. So I'm going to go ahead and select this figure again, and in the tags pane, click the little options down arrow and find tag from selection. So that shows me where, uh, where, where uh, Acrobat put the figure tag. I'm going to move it back where it belongs, right up here, so the reading order is correct. And then I can right-click it, Properties, put the carefully crafted alternate text back in. And then if I want to, I can go again to the Edit Attribute Objects button, expand things out, and verify that the bounding box is there. There it is right there. So that should uh, do it. Now, always a good idea in Acrobat Pro to save as a new file name. Just in case I mess something up, I can backtrack. So back in Pack 2, I'm going to load the remediated PDF. Click Start. And you can see instead of the happy green check mark, which I really would have liked, I get this cautionary yellow triangle. This PDF contains warnings, potential accessibility problems. So there's still something not quite right. I'm going to click the report button and drill down to the warning. There it is. I can click on it to see the location in the document. And it's the same, uh, the same figure tag giving us trouble again. Now this 
message, possibly inappropriate use of a figure structure element, is pretty vague. It could refer to a number of things. In my experience, though, it's almost always due to the placement attribute. A figure tag is innately an inline element, which means it, it is uh, nested under another tag, like a paragraph tag. Uh, in this case, we're using it under the block element. And uh, to do that, the placement attribute has to be explicitly set to block. Uh, a lot of times Acrobat does that on its own. This time, for whatever reason, it, uh, it didn't. So I'm going to go back to Acrobat Pro. And back in Acrobat Pro, I'm going to go back to the Tags pane. Uh, there's our faulty figure tag. I'm going to right-click it. Properties. Go back to our friend, the Edit Attribute Objects button. And I'm going to select the object dictionary, attribute object dictionary, click new item, and the key that I want is placement. The value that I want is block. I have to explicitly set the placement to block. Uh, the value type is name, so that's in, that, in this case, so that's correct. Click OK. You can see that we now have the placement attribute in place. Click OK. Close. Now that should do it. So I'll file, save as again. I want to always save to a new file name in case I really bugger something up bad. I can have a way to backtrack. And back in pack two, I'm going to load the second time remediated PDF. Click start. And now we get our good friend, the happy green check mark, praising us that this PDF is technically accessible. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. This is Kenny Moore of tagpdf.com. Please feel free to visit me on the Contact Kenny page. Accessibility is the right thing to do.